black satin or black pearl mist. Which one is better? Let's find out. So I've been experimenting with black satin and black pearl mist filters for a long time now and thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about this. Which one is, is better? Or probably a better question is, which one is for you? So first, uh, I thought I would, I would go over what Tiffin has actually said about the difference between each filter, the black pearl mist and the black satin and kind of get it directly from the horse's mouth. So right on Tiffin's website, the black pearl mist filter, they say it reduces highlights and lowers contrast. It softens wrinkles and blemishes, creates a soft quality of light. And it also adds a, a gauzy painted kind of halation to your image as well. And also adds kind of a warmth with its halation, but that's not put on the, the skin tones. For the black satin, uh, Tiffin says again that it reduces highlights and lowers contrast, softens wrinkles and blemishes, and adds a mild glow to the highlights. So they also say that the black satin provides an optical resolution reduction element, kind of softening that image from what we get from our, our modern day cameras with, with just a very sharp, high resolution sensor. So I think the question of which is better isn't really isn't really a fair question. It's kind of which do you prefer or which suits your needs for whatever the, the project is that you're shooting. It's kind of like asking the question, which is better, vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream? You're gonna find people on either side that are super passionate about whatever it is and they think the other side is ridiculous for choosing the opposite of what they've chosen. I think it's kind of like lenses, same thing with filters. You wanna choose the, the best tool for, for the job that you're doing and and figure out what, what it is that, that's best for you. So which is best isn't really a, a, fair, a fair question, but I thought just to kind of help you out, figure out what you wanted to choose, I've got side-by-side -side comparisons. I'm gonna throw up three different shots with a one quarter black satin filter, uh, another shot with the one eighth Pro mist, black pro mist, and then one shot with just the lens. I should address too the the reasons for going with the one eighth and the one quarter, and why not have each at a quarter or each at one eighth. Two reasons: one, because that's kind of all I have, <laughs> so so maybe that makes this whole thing kind of silly to do a comparison. But I found that the one eighth uh, strength for the black pro mist was kind of the max that I would go. Any, any more at one quarter, it was just too much for, for my taste. And then the same thing with the, the black satin. Starting at a quarter was perfect for, for me and any, anything higher was just a little too much to, to put onto the image. And I found that the one eighth and the one quarter of each matched up pretty closely. So I think it's a, it's a good comparison for, for what each look when you're going for a similar kind of look. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then obviously you can make each filter stronger. So I'll throw it up without any hints and then afterwards kind of give you the answers, see if you can figure it out. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, let's let's roll the footage without without any further introduction.
So there you have it. Could you tell the difference? Was there one that you preferred over another? Let me know, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Or maybe if you just think this is a silly comparison and and having it at different strengths is, is pointless to compare to. I'm also gonna link below a video that Tiffin put out. I think it's super helpful. They go through every single one of their filters and shows what each filter looks like in a very controlled environment. So I'll make sure to link that below too. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought. Let me know if there's other videos or other comparisons or other reviews that you'd want me to do or just in general something that you'd want me to touch on, more behind the scenes or, or whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. I do really want to hear from you. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.